seem immediately obvious at first, but maths has been directly responsible for many discoveries and innovations that are actually being used to make people better. And it certainly keeps us healthy and secure as we go about our daily lives. Florence Nightingale, the Lady of the Lamp, is a famous nurse who showed extraordinary compassion to wounded and dying soldiers in the Crimean War. But her greatest achievement came about through her innovative use of medical statistics. Over 350,000 men died in the Crimea, but only 10% of these actually died in battle. The remainder died from diseases such as dysentery. Meticulous records were kept and on her return to England, Florence Nightingale was able to demonstrate beyond any doubt that there was a link between healthy recovery and sanitation and good hygiene. Her pioneering work has since saved millions of lives on and off the battlefield. Florence was honoured by being made the first female member of the Royal Statistical Society. The tradition started by Florence Nightingale continues to this day. Medical statisticians use data collected on a worldwide basis to monitor the spread of infectious diseases such as influenza. The World Health Organization and other agencies have sophisticated computational models to watch the spread of deadly bird flu or swine flu, for instance. Maths tells them where and when to declare a pandemic. Too early and it will cause unnecessary disruption and panic. Too late and it may be, well, too late. Giving advance notice to ensure there are sufficient stockpiles of the right types of medicines and vaccines is another important function. Viruses are too small to be seen, but the criminal activity that plagues big cities in particular is all too visible. While politicians and social workers continue to debate the causes of crime and the best ways to reduce it, mathematicians at the University of California in Los Angeles have come up with a set of reaction diffusion equations to describe it. Their study explains interaction and diffusion in areas of both high and low risk. This work is enabling police forces to be more targeted with their valuable and increasingly limited resources. You could say that maths has made the streets of Los Angeles a whole lot safer. Another problem of mankind's own making is traffic. We've all experienced it. You're stuck in it for ages on a motorway with the seemingly endless queue of cars crawling along at snail's pace. Suddenly the car in front of you accelerates and it's all over, with no apparent reason for the delay. What was that all about? Well, mathematicians will tell you it's all about wave equations and group velocity, and that they're working to find new ways to prevent traffic jams and make journeys less stressful. So from healthcare to community policing, from central government to running essential utilities, someone somewhere is relying on math.